one. Let us discuss Laplace transform of derivatives. So when you have a derivative of any function and we have to find its Laplace transform, let us see how to find its Laplace transform. But before discussing few examples, we will discuss the proof of this result. It's very simple and quite interesting also. So let us start to prove L of f dash of t is equal to minus f of 0 plus s into Laplace of f of t. Okay, so this is the actual result. So we are going to prove it. We will start with the left hand side. Okay, so left hand side is Laplace of f dash of t. Okay, let me write it properly. So yes, starting here, Laplace of f dash of t. Okay. So you are familiar with the definition of Laplace. The definition of Laplace says it is equal to integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt. But at a place of f of t, we have f dash of t. So using definition, we can write in this way integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f dash of t dt. Okay. So using definition, we will have this one. So we are going to solve this integration. Now the question is how to solve this integration since there is a product of two functions. So we have this integration by parts u integration uv is equal to u integration v minus derivative of u integration v okay and dx we will have. So yeah this rule we have integration uv. So that rule I am going to use here this is our u and this is our v. Let us apply it for this integral. So this is equal to u. We write as it is e raised to minus st integration of v. That means integration of f dash of t. See derivative is already, already there. Dash is there. And we are taking integration. So what will happen? Derivative and integration will get cancelled to each other. And simply we have f of t. Okay. I am writing the limits here. Limits are 0 to infinity. So the first part is over minus let us go further integration so i will write limits here 0 to infinity derivative of u we have to write its derivative with respect to t exponential function is there so its derivative will be same so its derivative will be e raised to minus st into we have to use chain rule that means again derivative of this power we have to take with respect to t minus s is constant and derivative of t is 1 so we will have simply minuses this part is derivative part is over now we have to take integration of v that means again integration of this f dash of t dash means derivative derivative and integration will get cancelled to each other and simply we have f of t dt okay let us simplify it further we have a space let us use i am putting infinity first at a place of t if you put infinity, you will have e raised to minus infinity, which is always 0, getting? And 0 and anything 0. So forget it. It is 0 minus. Now I am putting 0, lower limit. If I put 0 here, e raised to 0 is 1. And here, if I put 0, we will have f of 0, okay? 0. See, this minus s is constant when you solve this one. We are integrating with respect to t. So minus s is constant, it will come outside the integration and minus minus plus we will have plus s integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt. Let us continue it here. So this is equal to, so what we have finally, we have this minus f of 0, right, minus f of 0 plus we have this s, s integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt. We have seen it somewhere. Do you remember where we have seen? Yes, this is definition of Laplace transform. Getting? So this is definition of Laplace transform. Integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt. So we can replace it by L of f of t. Okay. So you remember we started with L of f dash of t and finally what we have got minus f of 0 plus s into l of f of t this is a required thing so in this way we prove this result okay but we can extend it further okay so using the same result we can write in this way l of f double dash of t okay i am going to extend this result so uh, it will be okay so this one we have minus f dash of 0 minus s f of 0 
plus a square a of f of t. I hope you can see a of f of t. So when you have Laplace of double derivative of f, you can use this formula to find its Laplace. Can you guess what will be the formula for Laplace of f triple dash of t? Okay, just observe these two cases carefully. Okay, and try to understand the pattern which we have. Can you guess what will be Laplace of f triple dash of t? Yes, try to guess. So you can easily see all terms have a minus sign except last term, only last term has a plus sign. The second thing is always we have f of 0, f dash of 0, obviously it will increase in that way. Next thing, powers of s are increasing. Power of s is 0, power of s is 1, power of s is 2. So definitely by observing these two, you can guess Laplace of f triple dash of t. So I'm going to write, it will be minus f double dash of 0. See, when you have double dash, we start with dash. When you have triple dash, I will start with double dash minus s f dash of 0. I'm increasing the power of s minus a square f of 0, okay, and plus a cube a of f of t, okay. So, this is formula for Laplace of f triple dash of t. So, this formula we can use to find Laplace of derivatives of function, okay. So, you can make a screenshot of it and then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.